And now Hawkins asking for the fan support as he's going up to that top ring rope. And this should be the coup de grace on this match and winning the RPW TV title. Caught him with a standing drop kick off the top rope, took a lot out of Hawkins, but Vane goes down, hooks both legs. New champion in the mix. Oh, couldn't be much closer than that, although we've seen a couple of examples recently on Rampage Television for sure. It's that kind of competition between the people here at Rampage Pro Wrestling. And he's just that good. He's good enough to wear that title. All he needs is the opportunity, and he's trying to take it right here. Coming up behind this man. As Vane gets up, he's Hawkins, fine for the, unprettier. the unprettier sets him up. Vane saw it coming. Oh, wait a minute. He just spit and caught the referee right in the face. And what is this? He just threw he the just belt at Adrian Hawkins. He threw the Hawkins. belt and fell down. Hawkins has not touched him. No. Adrian Hawkins didn't even touch Jeremy Vane. What is he doing? I'm questioning this decision by Dustin Robinson. He looked irritated at being spit at. That was Jeremy Vane all the way. Hawkins didn't do anything but have the belt thrown at him by Jeremy Vane. Well, we that thought belt that should be here. We thought no count out would have done it. It appears that Sal Renaro is going to come up. If they have another match, Sal Renaro is going to have to find some stipulation that avoids this. Well, the, the disqualification clause is always there. And, and the winner this time, by disqualification. And when the Ron referee Man goes, I'll tell you, Jeremy when Dustin Robinson Bain. watches this back on videotape, he's not going to be happy with his own decision. I know him well enough to know he's not going to like it when he sees back what happened. But he had to call what he saw, and what he saw was Jeremy Bain taking advantage of a situation.